The Winslow Boy is a play by Terence Rattigan, written in 1946 and centres around a family in London and a son who is accused of a crime which he did not commit and his family's attempts to get his innocence proclaimed to the world. I'm the dad of, the, of, of um, Ronnie who's accused of this theft and it's a man who fought very hard to prove his son's innocence and fought so hard that he just about beggared the family and also ruined his health. I'm his wife in the story and mother of Ronnie. Grace uh, is, like many mothers, is trying to hold the family together and perhaps doesn't quite agree with her husband's way of going about things. My character is based on a very eminent uh, barrister of the day who is called Sir Edward Carson and it's to the surprise of quite a lot of people that he accepts the case. This feels like a very good place to be doing while Trump's in power in America and I couldn't tell you why. It's concerned with questions of individual freedom and the power of the state, then it seems to confound its own possible old-fashionedness and not to be old-fashioned at all. You start with one idea uh, and you develop and learn through a company of people all pulling together, all developing at the same time, and then you get a result. And that's, for each individual and a group, incredibly exciting. I know I get to be a better director when someone's doing something really exciting in a scene and then you get a really good idea and then you can give the good idea to the actor and they can bounce back with an even better idea and then things get really creative. It's getting um, under the skin of a play um, in a way that often on radio or television or film you don't get the chance of time to do. When you've gone through the rehearsals and you're presenting that story on a stage, you have, whether it's five, 10 or 1,500 people, breathing and living and listening to that story. And not only listening, reacting to it. There's nothing quite like that in anything. It's a solid, well-written, suspense drama. You don't know, right the way through it, what is going to happen at the end. It's, you know, he's constructed it brilliantly. I mean, it's an extraordinary achievement to yes. set it all in one space, in one drawing room, and have the drama of a parliamentary debate, a courtroom drama, a family falling apart, an offstage supposed crime, mm -hmm. and all that in one living room in Kensington. It's very funny and it's very moving as well, and that's a rare thing. That doesn't often happen. You, you regularly get one or the other, but not very often in the same evening. Even if we do it just well instead of very well, which is how we're <laughs> going to do it, I think um, the audience may well have their, their sort of faith in humanity restored, which at this moment in time is rather a precious thing to have done to you. Mm. And we're aimed to do that to you.